Hello, welcome back to my channel, Turquoise and Sasquatch. Today is Saturday, February 25th, 2023, 2023. And um, just want to get on here and tell you we are the light of the world. We are the city on a hill. There are so many things that are happening um, worldwide and locally um, now, you know, with us. Um, in the U.S., there are so many things happening, so many uh, train derailments, uh, explosions, all kinds of stuff. So we are a city on a hill. We are the light of the world and we have to shine. It doesn't matter what's happening outside our homes. Um, we got to be light for others to find. For others, we have to shine bright. To let others kind of come and see and be able to get through all of this darkness. Um, I kind of want to break this up in like two, two videos. So this one's going to be more about um, what's going on. And I'll do another video um, on like the happenings here. But this one I just kind of wanted to um, just let you know like what I have what's happening. Um, of course, I've talked about this before, about the East Palestine um, train derailment. And I think there was another like explosion in Ohio with like dangerous chemicals and whatever. Um, I think it was Thursday night or into Friday morning. I think it was like at 2 a.m. or so. There were reports of things kind of like a fog or some kind of dust here in our area where people were reporting actually um, in Pennsylvania, in uh, Maryland, in West Virginia, that there was like a dust on top of their vehicles. And they were thinking, well, it can't be pollen. It's not, it looks kind of whitish gray. Um, usually uh, we checked, um, like, you know, the weather stuff, it said that there was like no pollen in the area. So it wasn't pollen. Uh, and I've actually had people that I know that have kind of shared pictures of their vehicles covered that are not too far from me, um, covered in this like grimy, um, and that's what they called it. It's kind of grimy. It's not like pollen. It doesn't come off like pollen. And it's like a grayish whitish tint. Um, so that was on the vehicles. And this was my fear. Like, I think that um, whatever gets put out in the air, winds will carry it. And I was thinking, it's going to get down to us where it's going to come down. And if it rains or whatever, it's going to get down into the soil and taint our soil to where, you know, we're not going to be able to grow anything. Um, people are going to like livestock and, you know, we're going to have to drink the water, right? And I mean, they're already reporting of animals, like a massive die off of like animals. So, and I know this is kind of like, they're trying to keep it hush hush. Um, and I know, I think, um, I saw on my, um, I don't usually get on my Facebook anymore just cause I, I just, Every now and then, because the reason I'm on there is because I have all my families on there. So it's like, okay, I can get a hold of, you know, can kind of see people from like, that are still in my country to see what they're doing. And, you know, and we can kind of communicate that way. But um, they were, there was a post on there that um, they were saying, if you see the white stuff or any of this, like things, call 911. And I'm thinking, huh, really? And then people were, you know, reporting, seeing, um, of course, there was another, another, like, a uh, weather thing. They were saying, no, do not call 911. It's pollen. It's pollen. And people were like, this isn't like, you know, your yellowish green. Um, this is like white or like gray. And, and it's grimy. It's not the same thing. So, luckily, like here at our home, uh, we did, I didn't have anything. Um, we looked at our vehicles. Um, they didn't seem to have a cover like other people did. If anything, if we had anything, it was, I mean, it did, you could, you couldn't really see, 
Um, so I'm blessed in that aspect, I guess, because other people close to me did um, get this. And I know that there were people like in Virginia reporting headaches. And actually this morning, my eyes were burning. Um, so I woke up with my eyes just like they were kind of burning a little bit. They're fine now. So whatever is up in the air, um, it's not good. Uh, and I'm hoping, you know, well, my husband and I were talking about this yesterday and he's like, there's, you know, nothing we can do. Our faith should be in God. God will get us through this. Uh, we need to pray. And that's exactly, you know, he's right. We need to pray. We can't be afraid. We have to pray. Um, that, you know, the winds kind of push this stuff away from people um, that we don't have. Like all the damage that this could actually cause. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, yeah, we need to pray and we need to kind of be, because I'm hearing like negative, a lot of negative around all the things that are happening. And it's like, it's basically that kind of puts our spirits down, right? And it to me, things will manifest kind of um, more because they have more power because our, our demeanor is low and we need to be praising. And I'm sure, I don't know if you guys have seen all those videos about, you know, universities and people are coming to, you know, Jesus and, and all this revival. And that's what we need. We need revival. We need that right now. We need people out there. And of course, um, it's going to be, you know, there there are going to be the false prophets and the false teachings. They're going to try to infiltrate this, like, revival movement. And they're going to try to get in there and taint the waters. So best thing to do is like know your bible no um you know the bible tells us to test the spirits right to test so i think that's what we need to do we need to have pray for discernment discernment so we're able to see um and determine what's from god and what is not um so and I think it's great that there's all this revival and people, you know, that, like I said, that's what we need. We need to get back to God. Uh, we need, because we don't, we don't have like, like hope in man. Who is man? Like we're in this because of men and their, you know, views and politics. Um, we can't govern ourselves. Uh, we have done a terrible job doing that. It's always power always corrupts. Money always corrupts. So if we have to where we know, go back, you know, to how life was intended for us, if, go back to like, okay, God is like the center of our life. And if we, our eyes are focused on him, he will make our path straight. There's, I don't know the name of the scripture, but if our eyes are faced on him, like we don't see the storms around us. We don't see any of that. We see his love. We see his might. We see his power and his blessings. And whatever, again, is happening on outside of us, we're focused on him. So, I just kind of wanted to give you kind of some kind of encouragement just because there's so much going on in it. And um, unfortunately, um, it's getting, you know, I guess it's not being um, told like of all the things that are happening. I know here, again, where the citizens or, or journalists or whatever, they're kind of saying, look, this is happening. This is what's going on. And people are out there like sharing you know, this is what I found. Like, this is like on my vehicle. It's true. Something's falling out of the sky. Um, so we're all kind of keeping an eye out because we do. We need to keep an eye out, head on a swivel, 
because there is a war going on and not everybody sees it. And the war is on humanity. There's, they want to depopulate the world because with all of us, okay, so I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that or not. I had like this ringing in my ear, on my right ear. As soon as I started talking and it was like loud ringing. So I'm not sure. Okay. It's weird. It's weird. I'm starting to pay attention because I've heard like angels can communicate with you. And then there's like a ringing and like a loud p pitch. So... And I don't even I mean my cat's not reacting. I see her. She's kind of falling asleep. So she didn't react to it. She didn't hear it. Anyway. Okay. So. Um, the, okay. It's easier to control. Um, a, like. A small. Um, you know. If there's like a smaller population. Um, instead of us all kind of you know, joining together and basically fighting evil. Um, it, they, they can't have that. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to kind of positive, positive. So um, there are so many things that we need to be grateful for. Um, and we are, again, we need to understand that we have a power of prayer. We are able to change things. We are able to, I mean, we're finding um, things we can't see. Like we're fighting powers, authorities, um, just like Ephesians, I think it's Ephesians 9, where, you know, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our struggle is not against another human being. Our struggle is against the spiritual, spiritual world. Um, the like spiritual realm. Um, look how many people have fallen. And right now, I don't know if you've noticed, um, like the Biden had like, um, I don't know what it was like, an, uh, he addressed the nation or whatever. And if you remember, if some, I didn't see it cause I'm not, I'm getting right. I'm not going to watch that guy, but, um, I always kind of catch up on it to kind of do get clips and he's like talking and there's like a red uh, and black like scene behind him. And um, a lot of people like at the thing at the Grammys or what some award shows, um, they're demonic and like they're dressed in like red. Um, like there's a woman, I, I should have like pictures to kind of show you, but I'm sure you've seen him. They're like red. Everything's red. I think Rihanna for the Super Bowl, she had like a red outfit on. All of these things. Uh, and I think uh, Giselle uh, Bunchen or whatever, she did like a cover in Vogue. And she's wearing like red. So there's something. They, they're they doing something. They they have to like let tell us what they kind of do. And all of this are red, whether it be bloodshed, um, something else. But it's all connected. Um, it, to them, they know what they're doing, basically. And the theme that they're doing right now is like red, red, red. And it's sickening. Um, so we have to fight against the forces that are behind them. Behind these people. Um, and we can only do that through prayer. We can pray give our angels like if we pray empower them with more might to be able to be here with us to be able to you know kind of have more empowerment to fight um against i mean if there's if there's nobody good if nobody's praying i mean there who's who's there to save right but if we all come together and understand what we're dealing with. If all of us kind of um, get out there and pray, can you imagine like the wonders that we can do together? Like how we can heal 
ourselves, how we can heal the earth, how we can heal other people. Um, so just kind of pray, pray for uh, discernment, pray for, you know, us to have the power to stand um, against all these things happening. Anyway, just wanted to kind of get on here and just give you that quick little thing that's kind of happening. Um, and I'll do another video and then I'll kind of post about also what's happening around here. Uh, but more to do with my Sasquatch and creatures around here. So I hope you're having a great um, weekend. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to my nephew and my niece. Um... It's their birthday today, and they're not twins. They're from my, my older brother and my younger brother, so they're completely different. Um, but they were, they share a birthday, so I just want to say happy birthday to both of them. And um, I'll get on here again, and thank you for watching. Bye.